a portion of a wall with three bullet holes in it. It's easy to tell the entrance from exits in most things. These are all entrance. You see the nice round circles. And then the exits, the other side here, they're all raggedy and pieces hanging out. But you can see quite easily the exits compared to the entrances. So as far as trajectory, we need to have two points to do a, a straight line. So we have to have where a bullet passed through two objects or it passed through an object and lodged into another, like it embedded into a wall. Walls are fantastic. If the bullet passes through both portions of the wall, you can do a trajectory with a wall because you've got the studs between two pieces of drywall. And so now you can make a straight line. So to show this straight line, all we really have to do is take one of these rods and put it through one of the holes. So you put the, the rod through and that will help us to see the angle uh, or the bullet path. But notice the rod can bounce around, it can move. And when it moves that much, it's going to, it can throw things way off. Well, these kits come with these cones that you slide on either end. So th there's a couple different sizes, but you slide a cone on this end. So it goes into the hole and then a cone on the other side into that hole. And that now makes the rod stay in one place. What we need to do is some measurements. So one of the things would be to use the angle finder. You just go ahead and you set this on here and you wait for the needle to stop moving and you see what angle in degrees rod is at. We need the, the vertical angle, but also we need the horizontal angle. So you are going to use this. So you have to position this right under the rod and look down. So we uh, do that. And then another, another thing we're going to do is we're going to measure how high this bullet hole is from the floor with our tape measure on this side of the wall. We'll go to the other side of the wall and measure also. And then we will measure from the rod to the nearest wall. So we have the height and the location from the next wall. Now we have angles. We have the measurements where the holes are physically in the room and that's going to help us later, especially if we put all this into a computer program. Now, the next thing is to maybe show this visually in some manner. So one way we can do this is with strings. This kit it has different strings in here that I can use to illustrate the bullet path. So you can choose a color that will show up in your photograph. So you don't want to choose a color that blends with the background. But if I was in a pink room, I wouldn't use the pink string because you wouldn't be able to see it in the photograph. I would use one of the other colors. The shooter may be right here, but what you want to do is pull out a string and terminate it wherever it goes to illustrate that path. And then you can say the shooter was closer or further back. Let's just go ahead and illustrate where this is by putting a string out. And really the easiest way to do this, the most effective way, is not to eyeball it and stick your string where it should go. Because you could be off by a little bit. The best way is to start out with a laser. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a laser. Now I have the laser on here and it shows me a dot on the wall. So what I'm gonna do is in the kit, I have these little anchors that has an adhesive to them. So this little clip here has a gummy adhesive on the back. And so I just go over here to where that dot is and place it on the wall. Now I can take the laser off and then put my string on and take a picture. So for this, I think I'll use a dark string. So I'll use this blue. So I have my knot, so the string's coming out straight. 
And now I just take this string and I go to that anchor on the wall. And then you just tighten it. And now you have your straight line that you confirmed with the laser. And then you can go ahead and put a second rod in a second hole and run it and so forth. So there's how you can do a trajectory setup, be able to see what your results are. And then you document them. And of course you would photograph this as well as all those measurements that we took. I would also measure over here where the termination was. So I'm going to measure how far from that wall and how far from the floor and document where that termination point was. Now that might not be where the shot was actually fired from. Obviously, it'd be kind of hard to do that. But again, if you're putting all this into a 3D program, having all those measurements will be quite handy. Let me go ahead and put the laser back on again. There's two ways that we can photograph this with a laser. One way is to use photographic fog. To do this, we have to spray the fog upward. The fog goes up, and so the particles are in the air, and then the fog is coming back down, leaving more particles in the air, and then you can photograph that. The other way to do this is to use a white card that you move along in front of the beam. So you would set up your camera and you'd lock open the shutter and then the, you cannot see the beam. So you have to show the camera the beam by making a dot on a surface. So here's the beam and in the dark, you go ahead and move this along like this. And then you close your shutter and now you have the beam showing and you won't.